Hello, I'm Jen and I'm here at Fashion Finest for London Fashion Week 2015 at the Grand Connaught Rooms in High Holborn. I can't wait to see Victor Wan's sunglass collection this season. But before we see him on the runway, let's go and find out more about what inspired him. Really loving what I'm seeing at the moment. Um, tell us a little bit about how you began with your sunglass design. Yeah, uh, I just started my own brand at this March of this year and I just graduated last year. This, uh, this sunglasses is my first collection. All of my uh, inspiration is from my dream. As I said, it's like, you know, I always dream a lot and after, after I wake up and uh, I just thought, I can't remember all of my dream. All I can because it's a kind of stories, so it's like a kind of uh, small pieces, and uh, I combine all of the small pieces, and I become my glasses. Yeah. That's amazing. So yeah. from your imagination, your dreams, it's, yeah. it comes out in your collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with regards to your sunglasses, um, have you got any favorite pieces in your collection? Yeah, okay. Uh, I would like to introduce this one. And this one is called Weapon. Why is called Weapon? Because I think after I uh, I got this uh, inspiration, it's like I dreamed. Oh, I we I was fighting with someone in my dream. <laughs> so I thought, oh, just a little pieces. So I use a triangle, the lip triangle, with a, a glass uh, le the lens. So it's like. Mm, yeah, yeah. Inspired by fighting, yeah. this one. Yeah. <laughs> um, Samit, can you tell us about the look you're trying to create today with the hair, please? Um, it's the, the look we're going for is like more bohemian style, so it's like more, a uh, little bit festively, but with a little bit of plaids going on, a bit messier, um, and like hair ups and like hair downs. We have loads of inspiration and we have a mood board going on as well, so this is where we kind of got our looks from. Um, some of the looks, um, um, one of our students are created as well, so it's amazing and they just got really inspired of it and they love it and they enjoy it so much, yes. Fantastic. What kind of products are being used to create this look today? Uh, we, we were using Redkin. Um, Redkin is one of the best products I have really worked with as well and, and especially with the whole the catwalk and everything, like, it holds really really good. Um, some of the, it's like the good shining, so on stage it really looks nice and it kind of holds the look as well. So we, we're mainly using Redkin, yes. So Catherine, could you tell us the products you're using on the eye today? Yeah. So um, we're using quite bronzy summery colours, um, like an orangey tone on the lids and underneath the eye, a um, bit of goldy and like a highlighter in the corners, like a sort of white shimmery um, colour in the inner corner of the eye. Really bronze skin, bronze contouring and nude lips. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so with the eye, I understand you're trying to create like a nice summery look. Yes. Um, did you have any inspiration for this? Did you have to look at any pictures to get some inspiration or did you have any practice time? We actually didn't. We were given the look by the lead makeup artist, Anne-Marie. Okay. So she told us what she discussed with the designer and what they were looking for. And yeah, so we're just following her instruction today. We've just seen Victor Wong's collection on the runway and I was really impressed with how he decided to showcase his sunglasses. He decided to dress the models all in black just to highlight the pieces on their face. And I love seeing the different colours that were popping out. There were very shiny metallics, very angular edges. It really reminded me of a cityscape. I really particularly liked the pieces that were inspired by his battle dream because I thought they were there for a ready-to-wear collection and I could actually imagine wearing them myself. Victor Wong's collection really is for somebody who wants to make a statement, someone who wants to go on the red carpet and say something. So if that person is you, I think his collection is something to look out for. Sadly, that's all we've got time for, but join us next time on the only channel to bring you the latest fashion news here from London.